Hey everybody, it's me, Jeremy, from Jeremy Does Plant Stuff. I'm sure you already guessed that. Uh, it's been a weird day. I started a video earlier about culling the herd, killing a lot of plants that need to go away. Not, not that one. That marigold flowering thing is fine. But uh, a lot of these plants just, they're not really getting going. And it was time for them to go and so I started filming this video I had some audio issues Chevy Attenborough um, the guy who I hire to narrate some of my videos he came over and lost his mind started screaming nonsense about somebody named Horatio 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 he was saying and I came to find out it was a plant he'd grown fond of he just wasn't happy that I'd done it. He he'd grown attached to the plant. It was it's a I don't know, I don't know what else to say. It's been a weird day. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's roll that clip. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Jeremy Does Plant Stuff. It is now late August, which means September is not far away, which is also the official or unofficial start of fall which means cold weather is coming and so is winter and all of these plants need to go well not all of them we'll go ahead and keep some of the pepper plants that are doing better that tomato plant I'm sure you can see that there those stay but I have a lot of plants here particularly pepper plants because I didn't have enough real estate early enough in the year to put them in bigger pots. They were stunted, they were not performing, and some of them literally just paused. They grew to this height, two, three inches, and they just stopped. After I transplanted them to a planter, they just stopped. They didn't do anything. Some of the ones that are still in small pots they're actually taller than the ones I've transplanted to larger pots and because it's so late in the season I know I'm not going to get anything from them it's just not worth it I will keep some of these plants and I will go through the effort of taking them inside when it's cold and bringing them back out when it's warm in a couple of weeks or a month depending on what nature decides but some of these plants they're just taking up space they're wasting my time I'm watering them, I'm fertilizing them, and they're not going to do anything. It's just time to cut the cord. So uh, let me show you a couple of pepper plants and uh, also a tomato plant that are a couple of examples of plants that are just going to go to make room for fall crops, beans. I'm not sure if those are fall crops or not, but I had them sitting around and planted them. But also a lot of brassicas, arugula, cilantro, kale, Swiss chard, and uh, that's all that's in this tray. I will also be direct sowing some radishes and carrots later, but that's not a part of this video. This video is all about killing plants, so let's go. Over to the peppers. So unfortunately, I lost the audio on this particular scene, but I think I can translate what I was saying. Look at this pepper plant. It has peppers on it. It's small and probably should be killed, but I'm not going to kill it because these other plants in the middle that I will point at soon are much smaller. These ones here, yes, much smaller. They need to go. They have not grown once since I transplanted them. It's time for them to go. Uh, cut it here, roughly. No, here, yes with these snip and snip and there you go and at some point i will segue over to a tomato plant here we go so this tomato plant is another great example of a plant that just needs to go it's not really taking up any space it's by itself here on this vertical planter but literally several months old and no blooms whatsoever. Nice new growth, but no blooms. And frankly, I'm tired of taking care of it. I hate to just kill a plant like this, but I'm also wasting money on fertilizer and 
on and on and on with all the different reasons this is no good so it's time for it to go I'll go in the compost I'm not just going to throw in the dumpster but uh, you know sometimes you have to make hard decisions like like that hey Chevy how's it going Oh, Jeremy, hello. How are you? Dear God, what have you done? Horatio! Horatio! Horatio? What are you talking about? You've killed Horatio, you monster! Who's Horatio? There! That plant, Horatio, you've killed him, and why? Why have you done this? Oh, this? This tomato plant? That was underperforming? Well, not even underperforming, not performing at all. I went ahead and cut it down because it was taking up space, using my precious dollars on fertilizer, and I was sick of taking care of it. So I cut it out, and I'm going to compost it. Ah, Horatio had so much potential. I mean, sure, if I had a greenhouse, I could throw in the greenhouse all winter, but we're coming upon fall soon, and this thing that had absolutely no blossoms on it is not going to produce any tomatoes before it gets cold, and I don't want to spend effort taking this inside, finding a place to hang it up every night when it gets cold, Bringing it back out here so we can get sun during the day and on and on and on. I'll do that for these tomatoes that are bigger and my pepper plants that I care about and that sort of thing. But I'm not going to waste time on this tomato plant. So I'm sorry if your precious Horatio isn't going to make it. To a cold-hearted monster, perhaps it makes sense. You already called me that once. By the way, what are you wearing? It's 90 degrees outside. What's up with the coat? What? It's my narrating jacket. I wear it whenever I narrate. Oh yeah, forgot about that thing. It's been so long since you've been here. You kind of look like an impoverished pimp or something. I resent that comment and I will not respond to it. I must bid you farewell, sir. Until next time. All right. See you later, Chevy. That was something else. Jeez. I need a drink. Well, there you go. That's uh, another end of a weird, crazy day. Chevy's finally gone. I'll be honest. I don't know how he got in here. He must have a key. I'm going to have to change my locks, I guess. But uh, now that he's gone, I can get back to work on clearing out some of these planters. This one in particular is a great example. This is just some weird bunch of tomato plants that came up on their own. Must have been some seeds in the compost, who knows. Right next to it is a really nice Thai chili plant that is producing nicely and it will stay. But right next to them, or right next to it, some other Thai chili plants that are not doing so well. And then, here we go. I'll keep the Swiss chard. The sunflowers that are basically done, they're out. I need to make some room for some crops that are better suited for the cooler weather. But I uh, still have a, quite a few good plants coming on. Tomatoes back there. Lots and lots and lots and lots of peppers. Another tomato plant here. And they're all really producing quite nicely and I'm sure once the weather calms down just a little bit and some of that heat dissipates, these things will really start taking off. At least I hope so. Well anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please stay tuned for further updates. I have a couple of new trellises I'm putting up for the beans and uh, a whole lot of other things. So be sure to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, if not like it anyway or else. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Until the next video, have a great day.